Hey ladies, so I'm here for my 35 and 36 week update. Um, this video might be short, just kind of short and sweet, so hopefully you don't mind. Um, just a lot of things have happened. I did mean for these videos to go up sooner. I'm sorry that this video is so late, but it just seems like every time I had meant to sit down and film this video, something came up as far as appointments and stuff like that. So. Um, as I talked about in my last video, um, I was going to be starting NSTs, and I thought I was just doing them once a week, but turns out I was doing them twice a week on top of my weekly doctor's appointments. So that is kind of why I've been so busy and just kind of MIA on social media, so I apologize for that. Um, plus, Dallas has been refusing to take naps lately, so I really don't have, like, a lot of time to myself um, or you know, to be able to sit in a room that's quiet and film a video. So I just kind of um, take the opportunities when I can, can get them, and thankfully Dallas is taking a nap today. So um, I'm hoping that once he starts school, I'll have a little bit more of a better schedule, um, a better idea for a schedule so that I can start doing these videos and blog posts and things like that because I do really miss it. Um, NSTs have been going really well. Um, the first couple of ones were kind of iffy just because she wasn't moving as much or she was moving too much and they weren't able to get um, I guess like what they were looking for um, her heart rate has been good she's kind of stayed at a baseline of like a 150 140 somewhere around there and she does have um, XLs when she moves she's had a few D cells um, but they weren't too concerned about them um, but he doesn't want to keep doing the NSTs until um, until December 4th, which is when my scheduled C-section is. So the reason why he's doing them is because of the contractions, because I'm still getting them, um, and because he just wants to keep a better eye on her to make sure that she's not getting stressed out. Um, I've been under a lot of stress because of them, because I'm very uncomfortable. I'm not sleeping as well. Um, I mean, I'm nine months pregnant. This is the farthest I've been in any of my pregnancies. Um, so it's all new to me as well. So there are new symptoms and new changes and then on top of having um, you know the preterm contractions um, it's it's pretty exhausting and I try not to complain too much but it's gotten to the point where it's taking a toll on me emotionally and physically I mean I've been having these since I was um, well I've had Braxton Hicks you know almost since the second trimester but um, I guess the preterm contractions the ones that are painful <laughs> Um, I've had those since 29 weeks, so um, I did. I was taken off the Procardia. Um, he did say to watch out for labor signs because being off the medication can put me into labor, so um, I'm pretty much on labor watch right now. Um, he did say that we are at the point now where if I were to go into labor that they would just do the C-section right there, um, right then. They wouldn't... Um, they wouldn't try to stop it. They wouldn't let me labor through it, obviously, because I can't because I have a abdominal cerclage. Um, and that does put me at, if I were to labor or go into um, labor for a long period of time with the cerclage, and it puts me at risk for uterine rupture or my cervix tearing. So we definitely want to avoid that at all costs. Um, so if I have any signs of labor other than the preterm contractions, um, I need to go in right away. Other symptoms I've, I've been having, which some of them are a little TMI, but if you're watching a pregnancy video, you already know what you're getting yourself into. So um, I have lost my mucus plug. Um, I noticed it um, a couple weeks ago. I was starting to have a lot more, um, I guess, like cervical mucus or CM, um, more than I usually would have, and it was becoming like really different from what I was used to. Um, and then a few days ago, I lost part of it and then a couple days later I lost the rest of it and I'm I think it's done. Not sure if that's you know a sign of labor. Um, when I had lost it with Dallas I was already dilated and that was when I was 18 weeks um, and that was a little bit different situation so I really don't know what to expect now because I am 36, 36 and a half weeks. Um, so I'm not quite sure what to think of that. I haven't had too many contractions. I mean, I get the normal ones that I have throughout the day. Um, they're not close together, um, but they, they're painful um, when I do get them. I um, want to ask you guys how, for those of you that have more than one child, um, how was it um, for your firstborn um, to adjust 
with having a, a new sibling. Um, this is just something that I've kind of been thinking about because Dallas is so used to being the only child and he's so spoiled and, you know, he just, he has all my attention right now and a part of me is starting to feel a little bit guilty that once baby comes, he's not going to have that, you know, one-on-one -on -one attention that he's used to getting. And I'm worried about how he's going to feel and, like, I want him to be, a, you know, involved as possible. He knows that there's a baby in there, but I don't think he fully understands that once the baby's here, she's here to stay, if that makes sense. Um, I just, I want to make him, I, I don't want him to feel like he's left out or that I'm, I don't love his, <laughs> love him as much. I, I don't know. It's just, I guess it's normal to feel that way. And, um, I just wanted to ask, you know, how you, how you have handled it. I do have a hospital bag video coming up pretty soon. Um, I've been putting it off on packing it, which is so crazy to me. Um, and I know it's probably crazy to others as well, but the reason why I don't do it is because I have this crazy irrational thought that if I pack it, I'm going to go into labor. So that's why I've kind of been putting it off on doing it. And because there are some things that I'm missing that I still need to get to put in there. But, um, plus Dave's bringing some stuff, um, when he flies in too. So there's going to be some things that might be missing in the hospital bag video, but I'm going to try to film that and get it up next week along with the, um, next pregnancy vlog. Um, I did put up a little cute little fun video of me and Dallas making homemade Play-Doh. Um, I've done a couple of different like variations of it, of that craft. Um, so if you guys want to, you know, see what that's all about, you can go check that out. It's actually the video that's going to be, that's, um, before this one. So, um, I'll have that link down below just in case. I'm going to go ahead and show you guys the belly. Thank you so much for watching and thank you for the kind words and support and prayers and stuff like that. Um, oh, and I did also want to update you guys on because I was in the ER a few nights ago. Um, everything's okay. I just had a broken wisdom tooth because I was grinding my teeth in my sleep. And because it was broken, it was causing me a lot of pain. And I finally just got, gave up in the middle of the night. Um, and I went in and they gave me like a local anesthetic and some antibiotics. And I'm only allowed to take Tylenol. So I pretty much have to deal with this until I have baby and I can get in to see a dentist. But, um... That's the besides the point. I'm okay. She's doing good, thankfully. We're still pregnant. So we're still hanging in there. Um, I just pray that she hangs in there a little bit longer. Um, but yeah, <laughs> so I will see you guys for my next video. Bye.